the healing is is a topic that so many people have and ask questions about and to be honest they're not answers that you're necessarily going to get I can't give you an answer of why some people don't receive healing and some people do. What I know is God doesn't choose some and not others. That's not how God works. God is love. God is unfavoring, you know, in terms of he doesn't favor one above another. So there are other, other things, factors in place of why some people seem to receive things and some people don't. What I would say is not all healing is miracles. Therapeuo is one of the words used for Jesus' healings, and that is therapy where we see a process of healing. Therefore, not all things are an instant thing. And some people may have received something in a process, but they, they block it by their negativity because they didn't receive it instantly. So we've got to be careful that our hearts are right. And when we, we don't get disappointed, which makes our hearts sick. So sometimes we can be disappointed that God didn't heal us. Well, he may have healed us, but it was outworking. And when we canceled it because we were in doubt and unbelief and we had a bad attitude and our heart was sick. So it's complex. There are many reasons why people are sick. Some of them are related to their lifestyle. Can God heal someone whose lifestyle is unhealthy? Yes. Would they remain healthy? No, if they carried on with their whole lifestyle. So some of it is to do with the way they live. So God may require them to make that decision to change their lifestyle so they can be healed, not just assume and make a, an assumption that they can carry on and God will just heal them because actually they're contributing to their own condition. Sometimes there could be genetic factors, sometimes all sorts of different factors to why. Sometimes it is related to behavior and there is a consequence of reaping what you've sown unforgiveness often leads to ill health um some quite bad ill health because you're poisoning your whole body and soul by unforgiveness so there are factors some people get healed when they learn to forgive now when someone lays hands on someone that person is doing that because of their doing what they believe god says in the bible well i would always ask the father do you want me to lay hands on this per person i'm not going to assume I want to know, is this what you want me to do? I'm also not going to assume just because I've laid hands on them, there is going to be an instant miracle. I would love it to be an instant miracle. And I've seen many instant miracles when praying for people to, sick people to be healed. But I'm also aware that I need to, I have more discernment now than when I just used to lay hands on people and just pray for them. So my discernment will be put in practice. Is there a negative frequency that this person has in their body? Do they have a negative attitude? Is their mindset in agreement with health? Do they really believe that God is their healer? Do they really trust God for healing? Are they just looking for a miracle because they don't want to go through something? There's so many questions and so many different views when it comes to healing. So I don't believe God chooses to work on some, but I do believe the conditions of some are either a hindrance or a help to healing. Now, is faith involved? Yes. Do I need to generate faith to be healed? I can do that in a sense of quantum physics. The observer chooses the reality. You're choosing the reality that you're made well. So you manifest that reality. But it only works if you're not double-minded. And a lot of people who have symptoms find it so difficult to get beyond double-mindedness because their symptoms are telling them one thing. What they believe is telling them something else and they're wavering. You're never going to choose a reality if you have another possibility. So that comes to the point you need to know that you know that you know that God is your healer and everything that he says to do has been done and therefore you can receive the healing that he has for you. So again, there are different ways of healing. Therapy, today there are many healing modalities which are using frequency, rife generation machines, using light therapy sound therapy all sorts of different essential oils operating on the basis that we're all frequency if we're operating at a low frequency we're more susceptible to ill health if we're operating on a high frequency in love joy peace rest we're going to be operating more in terms of health and wholeness so there is a sense where frequency is important and therefore we can apply frequency like when you lay hands on something, people's hands often get hot or they vibrate or, or there's some impartation of anointing. 
into some somebody to bring about that healing but the more you understand the more focused that can be i know someone like william branham who was part of the healing revival movement in the 40s 50s 60s he would hold someone's hand he would feel the vibration of their body and he would actually diagnose what was wrong with them and then he might minister healing to them by knowing exactly what frequency to apply to deal with that so there are different ways and different how it happens the main thing for me if i was encouraging someone how to get to that point where you totally believed in health as your inheritance in god is spend time with god the healer because he is our healer, Jehovah Rophe, I think it is. He is our healer. Therefore, you would then trust him to want the best for you. But I don't have an answer to every single situation because there's complex. And I wouldn't know, you know, sometimes why something happens or something doesn't happen. But God does. And I trust God as being good. And God is not going to favor some over another. So there's always going to be a process or a reason why something is still happening and sometimes we just don't know and that might be within the person's mind in the person's heart that they're not revealing um but i do totally believe in health and immortality and god does not want us to die um therefore let's draw near to the healer and find that revelation of healing from his heart to our heart that we know and believe that truth that's more likely to enable us to manifest that which we're choosing, that reality. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.